You did it. We will get this to our doctors right away. In the meantime, my father wishes to see you. Follow me. So this is why you were following me? Why you saved my life? You had errands only my rig could run? I watched you because I learned from what I see. I saved you so that you would not die. Great. You've got the saying nothing thing down pat, you know that? Listen, princess. Wait, are you really a princess? Is your father the king? We have no kings. He leads only in that he leads. Down pat. I mean, it is he who led the Forgotten to safety, taught us to survive. He calmed the Great Frenzy and learned how to harvest this planet's nectar without causing another. Yeah, again with a nectar. That's a ridiculous word, by the way. It is apt. I'm sorry if it troubles you. Yeah, I'll get over it. The Forgotten is nice, though. Whoa, what's up? A breach. Were you followed? Followed by who? Perimeter breach! We need assistance! This way! Go on ahead of me. I will provide support from the parapets. Go! I need to close the...
stranger. We are in your debt. Unusual behavior for that species. They are normally only aggressive when attacked. Come, Jim. My father awaits. A man of honor and a Nivik uniform. A true paradox. You hate them like you know them well. You were Nivik too once. Long ago, I was. We came here from Earth as you did. Come to tame the wilds, rendering fire from ice. We were unprepared. Look, Chief, I don't claim to know what you've been through, but I know the odds you're up against. You're not wrong that we're here for a reason, but it's not to bring you harm, I swear. Let me help. Let me talk to my boss, Braddock. Silence! hand extends. They beckon. Come in from the cold. Long have we waited. When they fled to ships and flew away, I was certain they would return. If we could just last a week, surely they would come back for us. Persevere for a month. No doubt our rescue would if only we could survive a year, or five, or ten, or thirty-six! For two generations, we survived without their compassion. Invisible, cheating death. And finally, you would lead them to our door. Assurances of safety. <laughs> Trust. Do not be discouraged, Jim. It is much to ask of him, and we have only just begun our work. Please, enjoy the hospitality of our camp, such as it is. You may find some things you need, and it is good for our people to see you are a friend. When you are ready, meet me outside the camp gates.
They call us elders, those of us who came from Earth. I know we don't look our age. Some think the exposure to all this tea energy keeps one young and strong. Others think the cold temperature preserves you. As for the young ones, the snowborn, they have no idea what an 80-year-old is supposed to look like. Pleased to meet you. I'm Francesca Vittorti. I manage the school. Do you have children? I do. Baby boy back home. Then I will not need to explain to you. The children are our animating force, our hope, our reason to persevere. We try to cultivate each one, show them our ways, teach them our skills. Not just to count and to read, but to survive in this place of all places. I hope you are able to get back to your family soon, Jim. I know it doesn't look it today, but we've got a pretty docile fleet of domesticated acrid. Took some doing, and I have the scars to prove it. But they were stable, right up until that incident earlier. Could hardly calm them down after that. Had to sedate the whole pack. I just hope they sleep it off. How are you enjoying our city of spare parts? Everything you see here was scavenged from one abandoned colony installation or another and refashioned for our use. Didn't happen overnight either. I've run the metal workshop for nearly 30 years. You can't throw a stone without hitting some piece of my handiwork. Uh, don't though. Throw stones in here, I mean. That would be obnoxious. Quartermaster. Long time since I had that title. If it's supplies you need, I can sell you some. That dirty tea energy you carry isn't worth too much to us, but I can find uses for it. I'll tell you what, since you've already helped by opening that base, I'll make it a generous exchange rate.
I appreciate your help putting down that intruder before. Not every day one gets crazed enough to barrel through the gates like that. Normally when I hear such sounds of discord in Bedlam, it's just Mira playing with her explosives again. Always blowing up some part of camp and answering in nobody for it. It's a wonder she hasn't killed anyone yet. Probably wondering how an acrid butcher makes a living, huh? Bet everyone you've killed just shattered into goo, am I right? Well, that's due to having tea energy for blood. But I have a technique that puts them down with electricity. If you can let the body cool down gradually, no spillage becomes like any other carcass. You skin it, boil it, tan it, carve yourself off a nice steak. The best part is, it doesn't this damn thing like chicken. Word has it you're a master acrid fighter. We should trade tales of battle. I'm Suzatska, first ranger of the Forgotten. I lead the hunting parties. We employ techniques, non-lethal and otherwise. And you well know what creativity is required to prevail. You've seen some variety of acrid, I'm sure, but I believe we've but seen a fraction of what walks this world. Beyond the horizon? Who knows what wonders and horrors we might find. Are you the one we've heard about? Our new champion patrolling the planes in some giant robot? I don't know where to begin correcting you, but I'm Jim. But it's true, you're a man known to take a quest in search of your fortune? I'm a freelance contractor. So, yeah, I guess I am. Excellent. I'm conducting an ethological study of the albino Tarka of EDN3. No doubt you've heard of them. As rare and elusive a creature as walks this world of ours. I'm pretty sure I've never seen anything like that. Exactly. That's how you know they're real. That and the telltale sound of their mating call. I've isolated the exact frequency. When played back, it will mesmerize them long enough to collect a DNA sample. The trick is finding them, for they blend seamlessly into their surroundings, and you will hear them long before you see them. If you provide me with their DNA samples, I will share teachings that will enhance your abilities.
I'll add the mating call frequency to the sound output of your wrist computer, which it will constantly broadcast. Oh, don't worry. Humans can't hear it. Oh, like a dog whistle. Sure. What's a dog? The albino tarka are scattered across the whole planet, so if you keep your ears open, you're bound to run into one. Happy hunting! In order to repay your life debt, one task remains. There is another installation from the first colony, closed to us, but your machine may breach it. There are resources there we can use, supplies and weapons. Whoa, weapons? It's a little intense for a first date, don't you think? One does not arm one's enemy. My father does not believe you will help us. This will convince him you mean no harm. I'll be back before supper.